we are going to create a pod with this yml file like we did in the last video and the port is exposed we looked into that but this we can't access the output or nginx because it is exposed but internally not outside the cluster so as inside localhost if i go to port 80 i won't be able to see it because it's not here it's inside the cluster and what we want to do is forward this port to localhost and kubectl control provides a great operation port forward it and the pod name will be after you define what kind of source is it so let me just go through it port forward and what kind of resource it is it's a pod slash the name of the pod and it is web nginx and your port which you want on your local host first and then in the pod which you want to expose off the pod that's what how you're going to do it but let me first create the pod profile yeah that's the one so our pod should be ready not yet okay it's ready now so we are going to expose it port forward it that's our resource name then our pod name and localhost port and the port of the port so localhost comes first let me just write it down so you know what is what in this case i want it to be same and your permission is denied all you have to do is sudo it because your local machine won't allow it so just sudo it enter the password really and port forwarding has begun so we can test that in another tab if i curl the localhost now i will see my nginx welcome page or if i go to the browser which i won't you will see your nginx page and that's how you expose the port now this would work only until this tab is open once you cancel it out now if you call localhost it won't so it's temporary but it helps you to debug and it has its uses oh uh, yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching please like